Alrighty, what is going on guys and welcome back. Today this video is going to be going over the single arm dumbbell row and there's different ways that you can do this but this video I'm going to explain the way I want you to do it but also the most common mistakes I see with the one arm dumbbell row. So just going over what it is in the first place, it is meant to build your lats and your, your mid back and your traps and your rhomboids, right? So it's meant to build this right here and also the middle part of your back, right? So it, that's what this exercise is for. I'm going to start with how to do the exercise and how I like people to do the exercise. And this is for various of different reasons, but I'm going to go over why I want you to do it this way, show you how to do it, and then go from there, right? So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is grab a dumbbell. And honestly, so I'm going to put my hand on here like this. It doesn't really, I'm taller, so that's how I like to do it, but it doesn't really matter where or how you do it. Just whatever, find whatever's comfortable. I'm taller, so I like to bend over more. Also, I like to have my, my setup a little bit higher because I like to stretch down the bottom, right? I like to really get that stretch from the lat down the bottom. So what I want you to do is you're going to try to push your butt back and try to hinge back, right? So when you start here, hinge back through your hips to get there. Don't round your back or round your shoulders. Stand up tall, brace your core, push your butt back, stretch the back of your legs out. I hear people tell me that when they do these, sometimes their, their butt and their hamstrings are really shaking, but that's good because that means you're using your hamstrings and your glutes to, to stabilize yourself, right? So again, karate chop your hips back, set up on the base. Now, what I want you to do is think about rowing this dumbbell, not straight up, but back and down, right? Down and back. So row it down and then back towards your pocket, towards your hip, right? So the very first most common mistake of what I see is people will get here, which is good, and they just go like this. They're just rowing like this. So their shoulder is rounding forward. What I want you to think about is keep this shoulder down and away from your ear, right? So keep it packed into your shoulder blade, into your armpit. I, I tell people, try to think about squeezing your armpit more, right? So if you're here and your shoulder's rounded forward, what I want you to think about is push it away from your ear. So create space from your ear and then think about rowing down and back, right? Down and back. That will get you to feel that lat a little bit more and make you feel the right muscle as opposed to just rounding that shoulder and rowing from there. Pull it down, stretch it out, down and back towards the hip, right? So that's the, that's the first most common mistake I see. And again, just trying to make sure you're keeping your shoulder away from your ear. That's the most important part there, right? That's number one. As far as the second one, what I see is people get here, they get their shoulder away from their ear, but they try to row straight up. They try to row straight up like this. You're just using all bicep. You're using no back there because you're pulling in a path that's this. It's just basically you're doing a bicep curl. That's all you're doing, right? So again, how do we fix that? Set up, push your butt back, row down first. Think, think you're rowing back and down, right? So don't think you're going up. Think you're going down and back, okay? Back and down, whatever you want to think about, okay? So instead of going straight up, Shoulders down, and now you're pulling back towards your hip. You're coming towards your back pocket with this, as opposed to coming straight up. So that's the, that's the second biggest mistake I see people make, is they try to row straight up. If, if you row straight up, you're just gonna use that bicep again, right? So shoulder down, pull it down and back towards your pocket, okay? So that's the second biggest mistake I see people make. The next one I wanna cover is kind of a two-part in one, but they're not, keeping a braced core in a neutral spine, right? So when they get down in this position, they're either here or their core's, they might be in a good position, but their core is not braced. So this is still, even though you're having support, even though you're having stability, it's still a full body movement, right? So try to think about when you're in this position, if someone's gonna punch you, that's how you want your core to be. Don't just have a soft core. If I'm gonna punch you, keep your core tight. Keep this core tight throughout the whole movement. When you go down, when you come up, your core should be tight the whole time. That will let you keep a nice neutral spine, okay? So bracing your core is gonna allow you to keep a nice neutral spine, again, if you keep your shoulder away from your ear. So what have we learned so far? Row it down and back as opposed to straight up. Don't round your shoulders forward. Keep a nice brace, neutral, nice brace core to help you get a neutral spine. And then from there, you can do the movement, right? And the very last one I see is, this is just ego lifting, but people use way too much momentum for their single arm dumbbell row. 
they want to load the weight heavier or they just want to get the reps done with. So instead of controlling the weight, letting it stretch with your lats and pulling it with your lats, because on the way down, you should be stretching the muscle, not just throwing it down, right? Instead of doing that, this is what I see. They're working all over the place. And the one thing I wanna ask you is, if you want to build your back, if you wanna build your, your lats, your traps, your rhomboids, make sure you're doing the movement with the right muscle. If you're using all this momentum, you're not using any muscle, you're using momentum. Slow down, lower the weight if you have to, go over the checklist we just did, core tight, neutral spine, pull it down and back as opposed to up, keep that shoulder away from your ear, and at the very end of the movement, what I want you to think about is squeezing your armpit, right? So when you're in this position, one more time, when you're in this position, at the very end, squeeze your armpit. That will make you feel your lat a little bit more when you, when you do the movement, okay? So guys, I hope this helps. If you have a question, if you, if you want to send me your form video, I'd be more than happy to help you. So please do that. Until next time, see you next time.